Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Playing With Power member Ryan, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Jessica Thrice Reborn. This deck seeks a grind advantage with its commanders before gaining infinite mana to burn out the table with Jessica. Ryan's opening hand could the Chrome Mox, Windswept Teeth, Orcish Bowmasters, Jeweled Lotus, Demonic Tutor, Spectator Seeding, and his London Mulligan is a Scrubland. Next, we have our Mox Pearl patron Nick, piloting Jetmere, Nexus of Rebels. This deck seeks to stacks out the table before pumping all of his creatures with its commander and killing the table with combat. Nick's opening hand contains an Aven Mind Sensor, Esper Sentinel, Sakinzen Crucible of Defiance, Windswept Teeth, and his London Mulligans are Solitude, Elish Dorn Grand Cenobite, and March of the Multitudes. After that, we have Playing With Power member Alex, pounding Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. This deck seeks to ramp on mana using its commander and cheats massive threats onto the battlefield. Alex's opening hand contains a Gilded Drake, Lotus Petal, Emergence Zone, Mox Diamond, and his Lana Mulligans are Elvish Spirit Guide, Mirage Mirror, and Void Winnower. Finally, we have our Mox Pearl patron Sean, piloting the partner pair of Pure Imaginative Rascal and Toothy Imaginary Friend. This deck seeks to put tons of counters on Toothy, draw tons of cards, and then win with a Lab Man effect. Sean's opening hand contains a Jeweled Lotus, Brainstorm, Displacer Kitten, Sensei's Divining Top, Chain of Vapor, Cyclonic Rift, and a Wooded Foothills. Without further ado, let's kick off this big bad bombastic barrage. Ryan won the Six Finger Challenge and gets to start us off. Ryan draws a card for turn and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Beseech the Mirror. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks it to help cast his commander, Timna the Weaver. Ryan passes. Nick draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He casts an Esper Sentinel and passes to Alex. Alex draws and plays an Emergence Zone. He casts a Lotus Petal. Esper triggers and Nick draws. He cracks it to help cast Gilded Drake. Drake enters and exchanges control of Ryan's Temna. Alex ends his turn. Sean draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Sensei's Divining Top. Esper triggers and Nick draws. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. Sean ships the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Spectator Seeding. He casts a Soul Ring. Esper triggers and Nick draws a card. He casts a Demonic Tutor, fetching up a card into his hand. He casts a Dranath Magistrate. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with Gilded Drake. Alex takes it and Ryan gives the turn to Nick. Nick draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He casts an Elvish Mystic. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Esper Sentinel. Sean takes it and Nick passes. Alex draws and moves to combat. He attacks Sean with Temna. Sean takes it and Alex gains two life. In his second main phase, he pays a life and draws a card through Temna. Alex passes. Sean draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He casts an Elvish Mystic. Sean passes to Ryan. Ryan draws and moves to combat. He attacks Alex with Gilded Drake. Alex takes it and Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Nick cracks his Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up a Sacred Foundry onto the battlefield tapped. Nick draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He casts Rug of Smothering. The table has to read it twice as Nick moves to combat. He attacks Alex with Esper Sentinel. Alex takes it and Nick ends his turn. Alex draws and moves to combat. He attacks Nick with Temna. Nick takes it and Alex gains two life. 
In his second main phase, Temna triggers. In response, Ryan flashes in and Orcish Bowmasters. Rug triggers and Ryan loses a life. Bowmasters enters, kills Esper Sentinel, and then Ryan amasses Orcs 1. Then Alex pays 1 and draws 1 through Timna. Bowmasters triggers, kills Nick's Elvish Mystic, and Ryan amasses. Alex casts a Mana Crypt. Rub triggers and Alex loses 1. He pays 2 life to help cast Phyrexian Metamorph. Rub triggers and Alex loses 2. Metamorph enters as a copy of Chrome Mox. It enters and Alex imprints Colossal Sky Turtle. He casts the Birds of Paradise. Rub triggers and Alex loses 3. Alex passes. At the end of Alex's turn, Sean activates Sensei's Dividing Top, looking at and rearranging the top 3 of his library. Sean draws and casts a Soul Ring. Rub triggers and Sean loses one. He curses Dranith Magistrate's name and passes to Ryan. Ryan draws and casts his commander, Jessica, Thrice Reborn. Rub triggers and Ryan loses one. Jessica enters with two loyalty and Ryan activates Jessica's second ability, killing Sean's Elvish Mystic, Alex's Temna, and Birds of Paradise. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with Gilded Drake and his Orc. Alex takes five and Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Nick cracks his Misty Rainforest, pays a life, and fetches up a Temple Garden onto the battlefield tapped. Nick draws and plays a Sakenzin Crucible of Defiance as his land for turn. He casts Abyssin's Pilgrim. Rub triggers and Nick loses one. He passes. During his upkeep, Alex wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws, plays a Tropical Island, and passes the turn. At the end of Alex's turn, Sean activates top, rearranging the top three. Sean draws and casts a Simic Signet. Rub triggers and Sean loses one. Sean passes. Ryan draws and recasts his commander, Jessica, Thrice Reborn. Rub triggers and Ryan loses a life. It enters with three loyalty and Ryan activates Jessica's first ability targeting Gilded Drake. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with Gilded Drake and his Orc army. In response, Alex casts March of Swirling Mist where X equals 4, targeting Drenith, Gilded Drake, Orcish Bowmasters, and the Orc army. Rub triggers and Alex loses 1. All four phase out and Ryan passes the turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Nick flashes in and Ave and Mind Sensor. Rub triggers and Nick loses 1. The turn moves to Nick. Nick draws and plays an Aganjo, Seed of the Empire, as his land for turn. He casts his commander, Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels. Rub triggers and Nick loses a life. He moves to combat and attacks Jessica with Mind Sensor, Ryan with Abyssin's Pilgrim, and Sean with Rug of Smothering. They all take it and Jessica dies. In a second main phase, Nick casts Dranith Magistrate. Rug triggers and Nick loses two. All through, Nick passes. During his upkeep, Alex wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and passes to Sean. At the end of Alex's turn, Sean casts Chain of Vapor targeting Dranith Magistrate. Rug triggers and Sean loses one. Dranith bounces and Nick doesn't continue the chain. Still in the end step, Sean activates top, rearranging the top three. The turn moves to Sean. Sean draws and cracks Jeweled Lotus to help cast his commander, Toothy Imaginary Friend. Rug triggers and Sean loses one. He casts his other commander, Pure Imaginative Rascal. Rug triggers and Sean loses two. He casts a Brainstorm. Rug triggers and Sean loses three. He draws three and then puts two back on top. Toothy triggers and Sean puts six 1-1 counters onto Toothy through Pierre. He plays an Ottawara Soaring City as his land for turn. He casts Mystic Remora. Rug triggers and Sean loses four. Sean passes the turn. Before untaps, Ryan's permanence phase back in. He draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He recasts his commander, Timna the Weaver. Rub triggers and Ryan loses one. He moves to combat and attacks Nick with Gilded Drake and Alex with his Orc. They both take it and in his second main phase, Ryan pays two life and draws two cards through Timna. Ryan passes. Nick draws and recasts Dranith Magistrate. Rub triggers and Nick loses one. He casts Linvala, Keeper of Silence. Rub triggers and Nick loses two. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with Avon and Rug and attacks Ryan with Jetmir. They both take it and Nick passes to Alex. During his upkeep, Alex wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws, takes no actions, and passes. During his upkeep, Sean pays to keep his Remora. He draws, Toothy triggers, and Sean adds two counters to Toothy. In his main phase, he activates Sensei's Divining Top, rearranging the top three. He activates Sensei's Top, drawing a card and putting Top on top. Toothy and Bowmasters trigger, Ryan kills Ape and Mind Sensor, amasses one, then Sean puts two counters onto Toothy. He moves to combat and attacks Nick with Toothy. Nick takes it all, and Sean passes. At the end of Sean's turn, Ryan cracks his Wooded Foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a Blood Crypt onto the battlefield tapped. Ryan draws and casts Silence. Rug and Remora trigger, Sean draws, Toothy and Bowmasters trigger, Ryan pings Sean, Ryan amasses, Toothy gets two counters, and then Ryan loses a life. In response, Sean casts Swan Song. Rug triggers and Sean loses one. Swan Song counters Silence and Ryan creates a 2-2 bird. Next, Ryan casts Orem's Chant targeting Sean. Rug and Remora trigger, Sean draws, Toothy and Bowmasters triggers, Ryan pings Sean and then amasses one, then Toothy gets two counters, then Ryan loses two life. Then Chant resolves, locking out Sean from spells this turn. Next, Ryan casts a Lotus Petal. Rug and Remora trigger, Sean declines to draw, then Ryan loses 3 life. He casts Gamble. Rug and Remora trigger, Sean declines to draw, then Ryan loses 4 life. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Wheel of Fortune, which is what he tutored for. Unfortunately for Ryan, this would have been the game, so he recovers and moves to combat. He attacks Nick with the Orc Army, Alex with Temna, and Sean with Gilded Drake. They all take it and Ryan gains 2 life. In a second main phase, Ryan pays 3 and draws 3 through Temna. Ryan passes the turn. Nick draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Plateau onto the battlefield. He casts an Archon of Valor's Reach. Rug triggers and Nick loses one. 
In response, Alex casts Mana Drain. Remora and Rug trigger, Alex loses one, Sean draws, Toothy and Bowmasters trigger, Ryan kills Avacyn's Pilgrim and amasses one, then Toothy gets two counters. Then Mana Drain counters Archon. Nick moves to combat and attacks Sean with Jetmir and Dranith and attacks Ryan with Linvala and Rug. Sean blocks Jetmir with Pier and Ryan declares no blocks. Then they take the rest and Nick passes the turn. During his upkeep, Alex loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and in his first main phase, he adds six colorless through Mana Drain. He casts Transmute Artifact. Remora and Rug trigger, Alex loses one, Sean draws, Toothy and Bowmasters trigger, Ryan pings Nick and amasses one, then Toothy gets two counters. Transmute resolves, Alex sacrifices Mana Crypt and then fetches up a one ring onto the battlefield, paying four. He casts Wandering Archaic. Rug triggers and Alex loses two. Alex ships the turn to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean lets his Remora die. He draws, Toothy triggers, and gets two counters. In his main phase, he plays an Exotic Orchard. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with Toothy. Alex blocks with Wandering Archaic. Archaic dies, and in his second main phase, Sean casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Rug triggers, and Sean loses one. In response, Alex activates the One Ring, adding a burning counter and drawing a card. Bowmasters triggers, pings Nick, and Ryan amasses one. In response, Ryan casts Pyroblast, targeting Rift. Rug triggers, and Ryan loses one. Rift is countered, and Sean gives the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and moves to combat. He attacks Nick with his Orc army, Alex with Gilded Drake, and Sean with Timna and Dranith. Nick blocks with Linvala. Then Linvala dies, they all take the rest, Ryan gains two life, and Alex dies. In his second main phase, Ryan ignores his Timna trigger to keep his life total higher. He casts Ranger Captain of Eos. Rug triggers and Ryan loses one. Ranger Captain enters and Ryan fetches up a Ragaban Nimble Pilferer into his hand. He casts Ragaban. Rug triggers and Ryan loses two. Finished up, Ryan passes. Nick draws and casts Birds of Paradise. Rug triggers and Nick loses one. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with his rug. Ryan blocks with his bird and Nick ships the turn to Sean. Sean draws, Toothy triggers and gets two counters. In his main phase, he casts Flesh Duplicate. Rug triggers and Sean loses one. Flesh Duplicate enters as a copy of Rug of Smothering. He holds up blockers and passes the turn. Ryan draws and casts March of Otherworldly Light, exiling a white card targeting Nick's Rug of Smothering. Both rugs trigger and Ryan loses two. Rug is exiled and Ryan moves to combat. He attacks Nick with everything except Orcish Bowmasters. Nick blocks the Orc army with Birds, Ranger Captain with Jetmir, and Timna with Dranith. Then he takes the rest, Timna, Ranger Captain, and Birds dies, Ryan gains two life, Ragavan triggers, Ryan creates a treasure, and Nick exiles Elish Norn off of the top of his library. In his second main phase, Ryan casts Talisman of Hierarchy. Rug triggers and Ryan loses two. Finished up, Ryan passes. Nick draws and moves to combat. He attacks Sean with Jetmir and Ryan with Dranith. Sean blocks with his Rug. Rug dies and they all take the rest. In his second main phase, Nick casts Falaji Wayfarer. Now, with each player at one life, Nick passes the turn. Sean draws, Toothy triggers, and gets two counters. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Toothy. Ryan blocks with Orcish Bowmasters. In his second main phase, Sean casts Displacer Kitten. He casts a Sensei's Divining Top. Displacer Kitten triggers, flickering Toothy. Toothy triggers, and Sean draws 19 cards. Toothy triggers again because it's on the battlefield and gets 19 plus one plus one counters. He plays a Command Tower for turn. He casts a Mana Crypt. Kitten flickers Toothy, Sean draws 19 more cards, and Toothy gets 19 counters. He casts Laboratory Maniac. He casts Mox Diamond. Kitten flickers Toothy, Sean draws 19, and Toothy gets 19 counters. Diamond resolves, and Sean discards the Flooded Strand. He casts Chrome Mox. Kitten flickers Toothy, Sean draws 19 cards, which is exactly what he had left in his library, then Toothy gets 19 counters. Sean activates Sensei's Divining Top. He attempts a draw from an empty library through Labman, and Sean wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wild match. Congrats to Sean on his win. This game had so much back and forth. Each player kept trying to claw their way to victory, but it was difficult to pull through. After the stacks pieces kept everyone from going off, it became a huge game of attrition. Only after everyone was out of gas did Sean finally go for the win and pulled it off in style. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Rug of Smothering. This card was responsible for pulling half of the life total out of players this evening. No one could storm off, and everyone had to be very responsible with their spells. It wasn't difficult to lose 10 life in a single turn due to this card. It stayed on the board most of the night, and the pressure was felt by the entire table. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we do get out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.